This week, it's all about the planets. Mars comes to center stage, shining for all to see. The delicate crescent moon dances with Venus in the pre-dawn skies, and then just as swiftly, it moves on to Mercury and Jupiter. As a special starry treat, the Pleiades will shine high in the sky to end out the week. Mars is a particular favorite at this time of year, and this week in particular, it shines physically and metaphorically. Long after Mercury, Saturn, and Jupiter have dipped below the horizon and well before Venus makes an early morning appearance, Mars will shine brightly and high in the east southeastern skies after sunset and remain visible until shortly after midnight when it dips below the western horizon. On Monday, January 11th, the delicate crescent of the waning old moon slow dances with Venus in pre-dawn skies with the evening star rising over the south-southeastern horizon. The pair remain close on Tuesday, January 12th. Shining like a diamond just before dawn peaks and brings morning light, Venus rises so close to the position of the sun at this time of year that its brilliance is quickly washed out with the light of dawn. After fading to a new moon on Wednesday, the thin crescent of a waxing moon slips in to say hello to Jupiter and Mercury immediately after the sun sets on Thursday. An unobstructed west-southwestern horizon will give you a quick view and maybe a photo op of Jupiter, Mercury, and the moon. When you make a fist at arm's length, the moon will appear one fist diameter above and slightly to the left of Jupiter. In the right conditions, you'll see the pinpoint of Mercury about halfway between the two. Jupiter will dip below the horizon within 30 minutes after sunset, with Mercury in tow just 20 minutes later, and the moon around 20 minutes after Mercury. If you're looking for something a little more starry this week, clear skies on Saturday or any night through the month of January will reveal a small sneeze mark on the sky overhead. That sneeze is Pleiades, or the Seven Sisters. Visible in all their twinkling beauty with no obstructions beginning around 8.30 p.m. local time. If you can't find this sneeze, locate Taurus the Bull located directly beneath the star cluster, high over the eastern horizon. For those with only the naked eye or small binoculars, six of the sisters will be easily apparent. For those with a small backyard telescope, an explosion of hundreds of stars will appear. And for those imaging, an ancient cloud of blue gases will light up the night providing a pleasant end to the week.